Hey YouTube, this is Angelo Man Six Five Seven, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the icons for um, any theme that you have. It's not that hard, but I don't recommend doing it if you don't really know how to um, how to like SSH into your iPod or anything like that. But anyways, now the first things you're gonna, your first thing you're going to want to do is obviously SSH into your iPod. So let me just drag this over here so you guys can see. Just log in. Just type in your password, which is usually Alpine. And if you don't know how to SSH into your iPod, uh, just click on the little annotation that I just left somewhere around here, and it'll teach you how to do it. Anyways, once you're in, uh, once you're SSHing into your iPod, double click the dot dot, which will bring you up, and go into stash. And then go into themes dot i p f a k t. I'm pretty sure that's what it says for everybody. If it doesn't, just click on the one that says themes. Anyways, these are all my themes. Yes, I know not as many as before. I restored my iPod. But anyways, these are all my themes. So now the first thing you're gonna want to do is just click on whatever theme you want to change. I'm currently making my own little theme. Well, I only have icons. I didn't make that many. But let's say you want to go to, uh, let's say you have this theme, Illumine, which is a really popular theme, and click on the, um, on the other annotation right here on how to get it for free. Anyways, once you're into that theme, there's going to be a list of things, uh, depending on what they have on their theme. Just, you're going to want to click on icons, not icons, folders, stacks, or anything like that, just icons. Once you double click it, you'll have a list of whatever icons they have, which is usually a lot, but some don't have that many. Illumine has more than 3,000, so I don't know why I'm showing you this one, it's just that I just wanted to show you how cool it is, how many it has. Anyways, it has more than 3,000. Let's say I want to add one that it doesn't have, if I can just find one that it doesn't have first. Um, Alright, let's see if I can just... Let's go back to my iPod, and let's see if I can just find one. It doesn't have, so I'll just go into Winterboard, select themes, let's go in the mine. Let's restring it. So yeah, the connection got closed, because I'm restringing. Sad, sad. Tear, tear. Anyways, okay, now it's restring. Let me just open type B and C B R again. Okay, so, now, everything, it has everything but Game Center. Thank God I found one that it doesn't have, but, <coughs> it doesn't have Mobile Theater either, so I'll change those two. Alright, so I'm going to change Mobile Theater and Game Center. First thing you're going to want to do is once you've SSH into your iPod, you can leave that over for now, so you just minimize that and you're going to want to open your browser alright so once you've opened your browser you can either click on the link in the description or or um what's it called or you can look it up yourself what you're going to want to look up is um PNG here 64 by 64 PNG and just that and just look for the icons through there like on Google or whatever if you're lucky enough to find them Luck luckily I found this website here which I found very helpful so I've been looking through it for a while and let's just say I want to um, change my mobile theater because I do right now. All right, I want to make a a brand new icon for it since it doesn't have one. So I'm just gonna like look through here. 
whatever there is. I'm not really gonna um, do that much. Just gonna look for a random one that will suit it. Yeah, I'm having trouble. Okay. Oh, uh, God. Okay, mobile theater and game center. Which one looks like a gamerish thing? None of them. Let's just go to the next one. I like this site. I recommend using this site for um your downloads and stuff. I gotta hurry up because I'm making this video too long. So and I don't want to make a part two. Look, it'll, it'll just make it silly. So let's just say I want to use CS this CSI folder for mobile theater. Because as most of you know, mobile theater does get you free shows and everything, and CSI is a show. So on this website, it shows you the different um, sizes for them. You're gonna want 64 by 64. If you're not sure which one it is, I'm, I know it's the third one because I'm used to it. If you're not sure which one it is, just right-click the image and view image info. And right here under media, this is on the Vista, by the way, so it's not gonna say it on all, on all computers. Anyways. Under media, it's gonna say 64px times 64px. So yeah, you need 64 by 64. I think I didn't say that before, but I'm sorry. It's 64 by 64. Anyways, <coughs> sorry. You're just gonna to want to save the image as, and you're gonna to want to put the name of whatever application you're you're um, changing it for. But realize this: you have to put it for the exact name of the application. So. It can't be wrong at all. It has to be exactly spelled. So, right now, this is the one for mobile theater. So, I'm just going to scroll over to mobile theater and look exactly how it's spelled. It's a little mixed with that, but I can still read it. So, mobile space theater. No, no space. Mobile, no space, theater. And you have to add the capitals too. And then, right after you type that in, you're going to want to type in dot period PNG save once you've saved it this should pop up if you have Firefox but you can just exit that out and once you save the image um, it should be in your desktop so I'm just gonna drag this over here one sec I'm just gonna drag this to this desktop I ha I'm running on split screen right now so I have two, two screens so that's why you can't see anything really anyways so here's the picture. You can double click it. It doesn't really matter. You can look at it. It looks small, but on the iPod it look a little look really good. Anyway, so now you should have one SCP. Well, as you should be SSH into your iPod. Now once you have the picture, the icon and everything, all you're going to want to do right now is just simply drag it into the the list. You're going to want to read this. You don't want it to be on top of any other icons. I'm not sure if I can really do that, but yeah. So it ends with Illumine theme and then icons. So I'm just going to want to copy it. <coughs> Sorry. Just copy it. <coughs> Let it load. It takes a little bit because it's 64 by 64. Alright, once you're done... You just go back to your iPod, and let me just unlock it really quick. And you're gonna want to go into Winterboard. It won't pop up. You have to refresh it. So you're gonna want to double tap the theme. All right, just double tap it. Just tap it once, twice. Just uncheck it and then check it. And then you're gonna want to respring it. So the connection is closed because I'm restringing again. Alright, so the connection's back up. And just scroll over to wh whatever uh, thing you changed. And right there, there we go. And that's how you change the icon for any app that you have on like a theme or anything. On my next video I'll be showing you how to create your own little theme and everything. Alright, so thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.